Hey everyone, this is Gary with Easy Go Junk Removal. I want to thank everybody for watching. Our little channel is growing. It's all due to you, and we appreciate it. Uh, if you would, like, subscribe, and share this video. In the morning, we are headed to a Air Force Base, Motham Davis Air Force Base, where I believe the largest amount of mothballed uh, planes are. And so we're going to be... Uh, hauling out of there so we are thrilled to get that call and we're going to jump on it right now it was kind of cool the guy uh, chose us because of our reviews so those people who say reviews don't matter i don't agree and my history says you're wrong reviews really do matter people do look at them especially the people who fill out those reviews and 6 30 in the morning everybody is hauling this place is already happening opens at 6 but we have a job at 7 over at the Air Force Base so we are absolutely dumping our load first thing in the morning we're grateful because some of these don't open until 8. All right man we're at the Air Force Base we went through that line and then they asked us have you been searched? Nope we haven't so we're in this line and all the trucks and trailers and box trucks, things like that, are being searched. I guess for weapons, bombs, drones, and uh, God knows what else. I forget what it's uh, like to be on a military base. We are on uh, the Air Force Base, base uh, Motham Davis Air Force Base, and uh, the guy who hired us is on his way to Korea. Joe, Korea! Woohoo! <laughs> And uh, not only that, is before he was in the Air Force, he goes, I worked for your competitor. And I said, ooh. And he goes, 1-800-GOT-JUNK. And I go, and you called us? And he goes, yeah, I wanted to go with someone local. And the number one thing he went with us for, he went through our reviews and said he wanted to do business with us. That means the world to us. All right, man, we are on base. And... Uh, this is a town or a city within a city. Smack dab in the middle of Tucson is this base. So we have a pickup and we are going to get this thing rocking and rolling. There's the beginning of it right over there. And then there's things in the backyard and in throughout the house. And we're gonna get a, a jump on this. Uh, one good thing about this guy, he's a San Francisco Giant fan. So don't forget, if you need any hauling done, that is the company we are just about through with this project and uh, i think we're going to keep a couple of chairs i have another one of those chairs up there joe we can pull we can dump this in sabadita and uh that's uh pretty much it we are happening first job day this is what we do man this is uh a donation for Vietnam vets, veterans of America, and uh, we are happy to do so. Just a side note, donate what you can to your fellow man. And after we made our donation to the uh, disabled uh, Vietnam vets, uh, we pulled some things out of this last load to uh, repurpose, resell, etc. And uh, the hustle is never stopping, so we do it by piece. So we rarely get a whole load that comes in and says, wow, man, we can sell everything. It literally comes in drips and drabs. And what we do is we pull things out that we know uh, we'll sell in a garage sale. And the more garage sales we have, the more history we have. The more history we have, the more understanding what will sell and what doesn't sell. So. We are all about that side hustle. When we're making money, we want to make money on money. And um, if we can, we donate on top of making money on money. So it's all a win, 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 win. We have put some other donations for the veterans of the U USA, I think. And uh, <laughs> it was funny because we just came home from a job and the the truck was going, passing the stuff that was right there on the side curb, curbside. And I'm like, hey, come back, come back. So the driver goes, U turns and comes. And he says that he thought that 
the, the stuff that we had for them, we were picking up for junk removal. <laughs> It's hot today it's not quite three digits but it is 99 <laughs> so who knows man it may pop that up we're not quite in the heat of the day i wanted to just uh reiterate something um over at the uh, uh air force base today it took us one hour to get inside the base and i've been through bases and stuff i haven't served but i've had friends that have served i've done functions that have happened on uh Air Force, base, Air Force bases, Army bases, etc., Marine Corps bases, and uh, I just know the, the drill. And so, <clears throat> an hour. So, I when I booked this job, I made sure that he understood that we're in there and waiting for an hour. That's got to be compensated. That's, that is something that comes with time on the job because the reality is that's your time i just did a job uh bid she likes the price and it's all it's all workout equipment and i think it's all resellable reusable etc i may even keep a few but the problem is is she's 78 miles away and there's nothing up there and i told her you're gonna be charged a full load regardless um, and this is the price for what you show. So I'm not going to let her add a bunch of stuff to it. And the reason is, is because of the block of time that is going to be used. 78 miles or 73 miles is a long time uh, each way to um, just have locked up. No other business can, can happen. Um, that's an hour and a half each way. And I don't know. So we're looking at a minimum of four hours and probably more like four and a half. And I've got to recoup that time. She understood. And it's again, you are the salesman for your company. You've got to learn to be able to uh, tell people and explain to people and educate people on why the cost is. If you just drop a big old, it's going to be $1,200. Well, you know, bye. But if you can massage that a little bit and, and make that a pill that they understand that, number one, you're not going to get your stuff taken out. Nobody's going to come here for less. And I can do it. This is the way it's going to be. And you educate them. That's, that's the beautiful thing. So um, you've got to have those skills. I'm not even sure I'll get that job. I mean, she said, sounds good, blah, blah, blah. And I said, hey, give me your address. And uh, I gave her a time that we were going to go do it. And so I haven't heard back from her. Now, that's okay. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I do know that I recoup and will recoup my time. So that's fair. And that's what we are, we're fair, but we are in this business to make profit. And that is a nasty word for some people. But in my book, it's the most necessary word. I do not work, I do not work to make a living. I work to make a living and have extra you've got to otherwise you won't be in you won't be in business very long it's okay to start with there's you know you're just grabbing everything you can get i've been there to do that you know sometimes and uh, that's okay that's that's just business 101 business 102 is where you start grabbing a profit and making things uh, last longer than uh, just you know, a bag of groceries and your lights are on and your house is uh, covered. You want extra. We are on our way to the first job today. It's a repeat customer, but it's the last feed. They are moving to St. Pete over in Florida, but they've been fantastic um, while uh, they have uh, been with us. We've got a lot of nice things to repurpose from these folks. And uh, they just have called us like, um, this is a three-peat for us, right, Joe? Yeah, three times. Yeah, so let's see what this day brings, man. This is job number one. All right, job number one is done. And uh, a little better than a minimum here. Uh, this was our repeat customer. And it's our no-peat anymore. But we are so thankful. Uh, for their business and we wish them a safe journey of course going to St. Pete so our repeats going to St. Pete and then this neighbor here 
as another job. So we've got to drive all the way over there and back into their uh, driveway and pick up another load. And it's probably the same size. So already the stay is panning out to be excellent. Junk removal. I didn't have a hat, I needed the hat. <laughs> So we're on a second job and uh, just a bunch of like pallets and uh, totes that are full of garbage and uh, soil, things like that. So we're gonna make short work of this. Uh, I wouldn't call it easy money, but hey, it is money money. <laughs> How the heck do people breathe in these things? <laughs> it's nine o'clock in the morning and I am sweating like a pig. <laughs> Uh, we went to our first job and then while we were finishing the neighbor asked if we can haul some stuff away from it which was right next door so we end up having two jobs and uh, little jobs piles up yeah we're making lawyer money this morning because that's one hour isn't it yes and uh, now we're gonna go draw a few things and head to our third job which is going to be which is going to be a little drive and but interesting but very interesting and uh, most likely everything that they are trying to get rid of is salvageable so we are taking the chance to drive farther than we normally do Shashing. but we'll let you know <laughs> Cha -ching. here's a side note for you guys we are always hustling we just pulled in some of this and we've got more coming out of the trailer uh, we got bicycle, a dog uh, crate. This is a glass shelving unit that will sell probably 15, 20 bucks like that. I'm keeping that stool because I'm a guitar player and it's like perfect. <laughs> and we got scales, we got a rotor router and we haven't even pulled everything out. But my point here is the hustle is always happening. Those garage sales don't just poof. Hey, we pull stuff back when we see stuff. Here is the find of the day. A coffee cup with two sides. Whoa, Taker. Easy there, Pilgrim. I can't do his voice, but hey, I can drink coffee from his... Oh my goodness. I am moving a gym. There were so many things that I want and I don't have enough room. Oh, real nice kind of equipment. <laughs> There's a couple of things that I will be keeping like that uh, Apex machine right there. Um, and maybe that uh, uh, dumbbell rack on top of the white one that's laying kind of funky. So this is a dream come true. As you guys know, I like my torture chamber. I just don't have room. Oh my God. All right, I don't know if you all can see this or not, but that thing is going. Well, everything in here is going. Everything. This is a dream come true. And we still have this. We have that monster. We have a treadmill and that thing. But we're making short work of this. It's going to be a trailer load. But uh, one of the funnest loads that I've ever had. Just out of curiosity, guys. What do you think that runs brand new? It's in perfect shape. Look it up. You might be surprised. We are getting there. That room is about 70% empty. And we keep on uh, dismantling things and making things work. So it's kind of a cool job, man. What are the cool jobs that you guys have had that you like and it's not like labor? We are finished. This room is now ready for church. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, that's all right. How's our customer? How'd we do for you? I love it. I love it. <laughs> 